Hello friends, uh, we are group number 17. Uh, this is uh, Satyavrat Behra, this is uh, Vijayasan uh, Lohit, this is Roshikesh Mohapatra and I am Toshind Sharma. We have done a project on swarm robots. The, we are going to explore the unseen arena using the swarm robot. The purpose of the swarm robot is to make a, a dumb machines which will move here and there randomly and collectively they will show some intelligence. So our purpose of this robot, we have made this robot. This robot will be moving here and there randomly and by detecting the uh, obstacle, it will transmit the obstacle coordinates using the Zigbee, co uh, Zigbee protocol and then MATLAB software will receive and will implement and will show everything on the arena. So in this arena, this robot will, we are going, going, going to start the robot and this robot will move state and as soon as it will see some obstacle, it will reflect, it will take a random turn and then again start uh, transmitting the coordinates again and again. So this will map the whole arena onto the screen of MATLAB. Uh, we are going to show you the uh, simulation of this robot as well, where the simulation part will be more clear and more perfect. So let us start the robot. Right. Yeah. So this, this screen will be there. So as you can see the MATLAB is plotting the coordinates one by one, one by one. So as the robot is moving, the, all the coordinates are drawing on the MATLAB coordinates. You can see here the bot is moving randomly. Uh, moving randomly and sending the signals to the MATLAB and th this is getting, this is getting, pro uh, getting plotted in the MATLAB uh, image. Uh, uh, when it uh, detects the obstacle, it, uh, it sends the signal and that's all, um, uh, it's our completely uh, working in a random order. So, ap applications have a lot of scope. We can implement in military applications where we have to send it to some unknown area to get, tho get those maps and we will just send this type of a lot of swarm robots to that area and they will be moving randomly and detecting the obstacles and sending the coordinates and here we will be mapping and when our we will feel that our map is complete for a given area then we will stop this process and this also can be implemented in house cleaning. Suppose you are not in home, you just start this process and it will go, go on cleaning the rooms, detecting the obstacles and this process has a lot of scope in other fields also where you do not have any previous information about the arena. Uh, see the sim sim simulation part. So uh, Lohit will explain the sim simulation. Yeah, as he mentioned, uh, even this is very much useful in military applications. Uh, it is very much useful in military applications where you can know the arena or the uh, secret part of your enemy, enemy camp. That is very much uh, useful. Now we would like to show the simulation part of this. So we use a prayer and stage concept for the simulation thing. So you can see the simulation part here. The, we have six ran, uh, robots, swarm robots, which actually move randomly in all directions. And each time you get the coordinates of the robo, and that is sent to a text file. Right? In the text file, what we are trying to do, we are actually accumulating all these coordinates, and we'll give, we will be giving it, say, uh, 120 seconds or 100 seconds. After that, we'll be plotting all these points using GNU plot. And this process goes on for 100 seconds, so that we are actually waiting for these swarm robots to traverse the entire arena and at the end we will be getting a map which is similar to this map, to this image where you can see red dots where there is no obstacle and white dot where there is an obstacle. Okay, we are already given it around 80 seconds, we will be giving another 15-20 more seconds so that it can plot it efficiently. We used, as I mentioned, we used GNU plot to plot this and because we have plotted approximately 2 to 3 lakh points, so it takes some time for that to open. And simultaneously, we will show the simulation part so that we can have an idea of where the obstacle is and where the non-obstacle part is. So actually, we can see to the left part of your simulation.eps file, you could see the output. Now you can see the original output where, um, okay, this is the, these are your five obstacles and the corresponding five points, uh, five obstacles can be seen on your GNU plot. So this is the ideal case. But because there are some limitations with the bots, where the bots are, the hardware is not that efficient and not that accurate, we may not get the exact output. But if we can make the hardware more and more efficient, we get the similar output. So in the real-time applications, even if we can't get such sort of a uh, you know, precise image, we can still manage it. Uh, we'll be con con concluding with the uh, purpose of the robot. Actually, uh, this, these robots are very cheap and we can send, suppose, 1,000 robots or you can say, uh, many robots together and each robot is costing around 1000 rupees so rather than spending a large and huge amount we can spend 
uh, spend money on a small cheap multiple robots and these robots will collect the information and will send the information to the base station to the military uh, owner or uh, the country and these country and these military can decide and can send the huge tank and huge machines for the attack so such way uh, rather than spending money on a bigger machine we are going to spend the machine money on smaller machine and, uh, and and another thing is scalability right now we are running one s robot in the arena if you will run multiple robots in a in an arena so it will create or it will create the air it will map the arena very in a only few minutes and rather than taking hours so it's better to use multiple robots in a swarm robot as you know that swarm robot purpose is like when you are running a single robot it's has it's a that robot is having no identity but will if you'll we'll implement or if you'll we'll run multiple robots each robot will show the intelligent behavior and the distributed data collect uh, will be available and that data collectively will give you the arena map so that will be the purpose of the robot and we have done it in matlab embedded c as well as this uh, stage, stage simulation stage and image processing we have done in matlab and we all have uh, distributed the work accordingly so uh, me have I, I have done the matlab part uh, uh, Rishikesh and Satyabrat uh, have done the embedded system programming and Lohit has done the simulation part. Thank you. Thank you.